Welcome to another ILTACON TV free conference video. My name is Beth Ann Stubbe and I'm the Director of Publications and Press for ILTA. And today is my pleasure to be joined by Melanie Prevost and David Cowan. Thank you both for joining me. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Melanie, it's great to see you. You look fabulous. Thank you, good to see you too. Thank you. I'm excited to see both of you in about a week and a half, but before we even get into Sunday, before we get any further along, both of you are longtime Eltons. Melanie, you and I have worked together before. David, you're well known within our ILTA staff ranks. What are you both looking forward to most this year for conference? Melanie, let's kick it off with you. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. As someone who works remotely, um, getting in the room with people is a highlight. Networking is a highlight for me. And so I'm really looking forward to visiting with old friends that I actually get to visit with every year. So, so I'm looking forward to yeah, I you know I, I I echo I echo that, and then um, it's a great opportunity to be on uh, on Sunday with Melanie uh, with our imposter syndrome session and giving something back. You know, I started to go to Elta in two thousand and four, Melanie. Um, so I think this is year number nineteen, and I remember being a newbie, like it was yesterday, and all of the energy and the wonder of like what a great community this was. And it continues to be that. So for me, it's an opportunity to be with people that, I mean, for me, it's people that have character and integrity and passion for what they do. Um, there's no frowny faces at ILTA. Everybody's like really curious, either happy to see each other or learn something new or check out what they know against and with their peers and colleagues. So um, I, I can't, I, I can't wait. I think I'm one of the, we're one of the few people that go like, we love this every year. Some people are like, oh, ILTA in the summertime. I love it. I really like the idea that there's a wonder to it. There's a lot of first timers this year. David, can you start me off with asking and answering why it's so important for technologists to come to Elticon? Is it an education focus or is it more of a peer networking focus? I think, I think it's certainly both. Um, what I hear a lot from the technologists that are there is, is that they're not alone. They can, they can meet their peers and colleagues and wrestle with challenges, large and small. You know, they could be macro and strategic. They could be micro and technical, but they'll, they'll, they'll come away with a peer group that understands their unique problems. Uh, so I think if you're a technologist and you're coming to ILTA, you bring your problems, bring your questions. Uh, they will get answered or you'll at least have a posse uh, at the end of it that you can that you can connect with uh, during the course of the year to help resolve some of the technical challenges and see what's new. What's new? I mean, if you want to keep your career alive, you've got to be radically curious. And so ILTA is a great place to be radically curious. Check out the exhibitors. You know, don't miss that. Don't be jaded by that. There's new technology that you don't know about. And if you want to be relevant in your career, for the next three to five to 20 years, you need to know what's now and what's next. And, and for me, it's this is one of the few conferences where the attendees are so open um, to share information. Um, I, I think that is one of the unique qualities of ILTA Con, ILTA in general, is that whether you're legal, corporate, um, and and if you don't know about this this conference, this is a great opportunity to find out um, because it's a hidden jewel. It's a hidden gem. People, as as David said, you have a question, you won't get one answer. You you probably will get five to ten people, not only offering insight and answers, but also offering to help, giving you their contact information. Um, that just is unheard of at any other conference that I've ever attended, um, and that. I think that's why this is so important to technologists. Can I just can I just tag on that for one second? Which is, if you've got a question and you're in a session, please raise your hand. Don't don't come with a question and then not ask it in one of the sessions. You know, as as a speaker uh, and having been a speaker for years, I can say I really am there to help answer any questions you might have, Melanie. I know you are exactly like that, and I can speak on behalf of the other speakers. We are there. If we've got some years and we can help, we're there to help you. Please raise your hand, get out of your comfort zone and ask the question that's on your mind because that's how you, that's how you learn. 
let's talk a little bit about asking questions and that being curious vibe that Ilta and Ilta Khan are so much known for. It's my understanding that this session was inspired. Both of you come to this, have you been at Ilta Khan's for years? The session was born out of an educational idea. Let's talk a little bit about that. Melanie, can you talk to me about the session just a little bit and then what participants can expect to gain from this session? In, in the having discussions about the educational sessions and what we would like to see, uh, David and I really stumbled on um, a connection that we're both connectors um, and that we like to share ideas. And as we were just speaking about people coming into Iltacon or any other situation on a day-to-day -day basis, people have this inherent fear of raising their hands, fear of speaking up. And that it's something that is not an individual unique quality. It's something that that we all share. And I think the realization that you know imposter syndrome and fear of speaking out and, and being uncomfortable was something that we all have to deal with. Um, and trying to come up with ways and share ways that not only how we've overcome it, but that we're still overcoming it, that it's it's a daily um challenge, but we've come up with tools to, to actually help us to overcome that and then wanting to share that with people. I think that was the genesis of this conversation. David, what do you think? Uh, we, we really did get smashed together and very unexpectedly this session, you know, created itself. We co-created this by just kind of smashing up. Um, and what we've discovered, and now we've, we've had a chance to talk for a year now since that session, but the session got kicked off and I literally just said to everybody in the audience, have any of you ever felt like an imposter? And everybody's hand went up, Melanie, and we were just off and running and just were transparent and authentic. So this is a session that I wanna say, imposter syndrome is completely universal. It doesn't discriminate, it's universal. Everybody has it at some point. And it's not that you're an imposter, it's that you just don't know the answer to something that you really want to know the answer to. And you think everybody else does and you don't. Therefore, you're like, wait, I'm not I'm not in balance anymore. So we'll go over that. Um, what is it and, and how do you overcome it? Like, how do you overcome this? And I'll just drop two names, Melanie. And if you want to drop two names, you can too. Two imposters that we reference are one, Michelle Obama, certainly no imposter, and Paul McCartney, no imposter. Uh, we've got a list of others that we'll share, but you, you want to throw one out there of somebody that you know is a famous person that thinks they're an imposter? Um, Beyonce. Yes. It's so much so that she created an alias to perform on stage uh, just to sort of get out of that box. I'll leave it there. I love this. Did I, you hear the mic actually drop? Did you hear the mic yeah, drop when she did that? I did. I feel like single ladies should be playing in the background as we do this. Um, <laughs> but I love the idea that participants are going to gain vital, it's just, just knowledge, but it's tools to help them move forward. So what, what, who's going to benefit from this? Who should come? And why are we doing this on Sunday before ILTA begins? David? No, you want to go first? Or? Oh, switch it up. So, well, Sunday, because um, if you're coming in early, it's a great opportunity to relax and ease in and dismiss this imposter syndrome and have more confidence. I promise you this, if you come to this session and you've ever had this you know, voice in your head that says, you know, I'm not good enough or is self-critical, we will help reduce it or eliminate it, or at least give you a tool that's going to overcome it. And part of that tool is who are your core for? Who are you really connected with that helps to recognize and acknowledge and validate what you've done. Because sometimes you forget to do that for yourself. And so we'll show you how to do that and how to overcome this. You'll walk out with steps. So Sunday is a good time to do it so that you roll into Monday with just your the self-confidence that you should have about, about yourself. Melanie, what do you think? I was thinking the same thing, especially if you've never been to this conference before. From what I hear, this is probably one of the largest ILTACONs ever. So we're going to have a lot of newcomers. If you if this is your first time, stop in. You know, if you hadn't planned, see if you can peek in and come in a little early because this is going to give you that introduction to what ILTA is all about. You'll get to see and meet some new people and you'll get a head start on um, just really jumping on what I call the ILTACON 2023 train and, and really 
get to know people and get prepared for the week. Great. I'm excited. I can't wait to stop by. We'll share some information about how people can pre-register for this session or maybe just kind of find their way on over on Sunday. We'll see how it goes. What what room do we know what room we're in? As we, we do, we'll place it. Yep, we'll place it in the session description. We'll put some links in and we'll be able to share all of this not only on our social, but in some more pre-con newsletters that are coming straight up. Melanie, David, thank you both so much for joining me today. Thanks, thank Beth Ann. Melanie, I'll see you Sunday at two o'clock at the Swan. I'll be there. Mark your calendars. Thanks, both.